Okay, hello everyone, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be going over, in my opinion, the best ways to spend money in Grand Cross. So, what I'm going to be doing is I'm basically, I've done lots and lots of math. I've gone through quite a few bundles. We're basically just going to look at the way I spend money and the ways I would recommend spending money, either for low spenders or for, of course, the more you know, people, the people who are going to spend more money. My friend spends quite a bit of money on this game. I've already been through all the numbers with him. He buys the bundles that are the best value diamonds to money ratio and that, that that's what we're going to get to that's what a lot of this is going to be it's me basically looking at a bundle looking at the price looking at the diamonds and being like okay 80 dollars for 300 diamonds it's about 3.75 diamonds to the dollar which is okay because these diamonds are immediate they're immediate diamonds but if you want to spend you know if you spend maybe about double this price you can get if you spend actually just under double this price, you can get three times the reward, which is absurd. So if you spend double the price, and if you buy all the rank up bundles from bundles one to five, it will give you 920 diamonds, it will cost you $152, but it is six diamonds to the dollar, which is quite a big improvement from 3.75 on the other bundle, of course. Uh, the first rank up bundle, if you haven't bought it, uh, let me go through them. So the first one is 40 diamonds for $8, which is 5 diamonds to the dollar. Uh, the second one's 130 diamonds for $24, which is 5.4 diamonds to the dollar. Uh, and then the other one's all 250 diamonds to $40, which is uh, 6.25 diamonds to the dollar. That's like the very high end of just the diamond to dollar ratio it doesn't really get much higher than that the only, there's only one bundle that i know that is higher than that and more worth it that is the monthly which once again you only get the diamonds over 28 days of course that is a disadvantage but you get all the extra, extra rewards and everything but this is the best one for diamonds to money ratio it is 170 diamonds in total over the 24 days which which is 24 sorry over the 28 days it's 24 dollars and it's seven diamond to dollar ratio which is the highest in the entire game if you were going to go off of just wanting to spend the least amount of money and get the most amount of diamonds you play every day, this is probably the best way to do it, especially if you're like spending quite a bit of money. This is the best way to just passively do it. Just buy the monthly, you get all these rewards, which are all going to be helpful. They're all just character enhanced materials, which you need all the time. You know, true awake, we get one true awakening material as well. Not too bad. And of course, you've got the weekly one, which I wouldn't recommend. I wouldn't recommend any of these. Well, this one isn't too bad. 10 diamonds plus like another, so it's 59. It's not the best. It's still quite good value. 59 diamonds to $8, which is... Uh, my math isn't doing too well, but it, it's I, it's not it's not the best. But I'd recommend monthly. Monthly is the best one. Uh, and rank ups. And of course, if you need like... if you Let's say you've bought all the rank ups. This one's the best you're going to get, unfortunately. Because when you go to normal diamonds and you have a look at the price... It's just over like a dollar and a bit. Sorry, a diamond and a bit per dollar, which is horrible, absolutely horrible. And now I also I also want to talk about outfits. So outfits, if you're going to buy, or if you know you're going to get the outfits for a character, it's best to buy it with cash, because each outfit is about thirteen dollars, which isn't too bad for three outfits. That's thirty nine dollars, and they're all you are. So what does this mean? When they go for diamonds, each piece of the outfit will cost you 30 diamonds. In total, one UR outfit is 90 diamonds. Times that by three, that's 270 diamonds. That's nearly a third of a festival and half of a collaboration rotation, which is a lot of diamonds. And if you were to purchase that, each outfit would cost you, let's just say, 80 quid times three. So it makes sense more solid and bundle-wise. Yeah. It'll cost you about 80 diamonds times three, which is a stupid amount, which isn't worth it. That's the reason why I'd recommend buying it with cash. It, it, that's the best way to do it. Of course, you could do it the smart way. <clears throat> like what I'm going to do is, uh, let me just show you my thought, and, I, and then I'll, I'll tell you why I'm doing this at the moment. Uh, four, here we go. So, she has currently three outfits, and I'm 30 diamonds off getting the one from this one from the event. She has three weapons, and she has four headgears. So, if I buy the weapon with 30 diamonds, I will then not get this outfit because I've reached the milestone for doing 900 diamonds, and then I just wait for a hawk pass outfit, which she will eventually get, which will then give me the fifth, uh, will actually give me the fifth outfit and the fifth weapon, which she still doesn't even have yet. And of course, we already have five headgears, but this one will also give me the fifth headgear as well. And that's the way I do it. I sort of look at it as in like, they're probably going to get a hawk pass outfit, 
So you can sort of walk around, or you can work around it, make sure you have like four of each instead of having to get five. For example, I've not spent any diamonds on any outfits for my melee at all. He's got five outfits, he's got three weapons, he's got four headgears. All I would need to do is get a headgear and a weapon f and two weapons for him, which is 90 diamonds, which is quite a bit. Now I think about it, will I do it? Maybe if there's an outfit sale and he's on it, but I kind of have a theory that the UR base characters won't be in the next the outfit sale. I don't know why. And that's why it's best to buy them with diamonds. Of course, oh, sorry, with money. And then once again, when it comes to collaborations, you know, it, you have to buy the outfits with, with money anyway, so it's completely different. But, like, bundles-wise, rank up is the best in terms of, like, diamonds right now. If you want diamonds right now, you spend 150, 100, you spend 152 dollars, you get 920 diamonds, and it is the one, the, one of the highest diamond to dollar ratios in the game, so you basically get a rotation for 150 quid, which by the way is very good. Like it, it, if you, that's I think the price is if you were gonna if you'd already bought all the bundles, all these rank up bundles, and then there was a collaboration, you bought uh, the collaboration bundle because this bundles every single time we have an event, this bundles here, always here. Collaboration or festival, this is always always here. So. That's why this bundle is quite good, because it's, it's quite regular, it refreshes frequently, yes you can only buy it once, but it is quite frequent, which is why it's not the worst. And of course, you know, if you come up here, you know, if you want to summon on a banner, of course 102 diamonds, 65 tickets, 65 times 3, what's that, 195, 195 plus 102, is it 297, so it's about 3 diamonds less, in terms of like pity, if we were to talk about it, than this bundle, and they cost the same. And you can buy that one five times. The only problem is that you would probably have to buy this one twice. Uh, this one here twice. So you're not left up with five tickets at the end. Because that's kind of triggering. Uh, so if you bought it twice, you'd get, of course, 297 times 2. Which, of course, is 594. It's okay. It, it once again like if you when you finish all the rank up bundles these like these top to, these top bundles and the monthly bundle like the only ones that I like you can repeatedly buy because those ones don't have like they're not like special like cause the rank up ones are technically special they're meant to be like oh whilst well, you're ranking up like from levels one to one twenty I'm not sure how high the rank up bundles go I've looked up online but I thought like a lot the only things I've seen on them are like people talking about them from years ago when bundles one to five exist. Of course there may be bundles beyond that that may have a, a higher diamond value, but currently you know, rank up then monthly. I would recommend monthly anyway. Like, the monthly is one that when my friends are like, What bundle should I buy? I'm like, monthly is very good because not only is it the highest diamond to dollar ratio in the game but you get all these rewards, you get a lot of coins, you get 30 diamonds immediately, which means you've only got to log in for the 28 days, you get 140, which is good. But you also get these rewards as well. I know sometimes they don't give you that much, you get Force Awakening coins, one UR pendant, one True Awakening thing, but over time, you know, for an extra four, it's just the rewards aren't the best, but you're mainly doing it for the diamonds. And the rewards are just sort of an, an added bonus, and also you get a bunch of skip tickets. I know skip tickets are super easy to get now, because uh, of course, like, you know, we have that daily, which sort of entices us to, you know, set out patrols for a super awakening coin every day. But that is honestly the best way to get diamonds. And of course, buy outfits with money instead of diamonds, if you can. Of course, you know, if you, you know, you don't really want to do it, then don't do it. But once again, characters, of course, will perform at their best. And most YouTubers you see will have all the outfits for characters. That is so they can perform at the best, get the best numbers, get the best uh, performance out of the characters. But anyway, thank you for watching. I hope this has helped, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.